going anywhere around it. I, I would hope that it's not right up close to your house or that you're anywhere nearby. I have no idea what you could do. I certainly wouldn't want to get up next to it and try to turn it off. I don't know the rules on it. Do you have suggestions on propane tanks? I worked the earthquake in um, Los Angeles, January 24th, 1994, the Northridge earthquake. Many, many, many fires because the gas lines broke. Very good, very good. I like that. I do that at my house. Uh, and, and so there's structure fires. I so, grew up in San Diego Valley, so. <laughs> I was amazed. Things you don't think about. Well, okay, so the earth shook a little bit. My foundation's damaged. I got some drywall cracks, but my gas line is broken and exploded. My house is on fire, and so fire crews are then diverted from other potential catastrophes to your structure fire if there's life involved, because they don't know. And that's part of this mass casualty incident drill. Um, the other point that I wanted to make, because you guys are all going to make good points and I won't take up your thunder, I recently had the opportunity to speak with a gal who's doing research in Australia following the Black Saturday fires. And in Australia, you guys might know that they had a policy, a national policy, that said, do all your defensible space. When the flame front comes, you protect yourself inside your home, and then you go back out as soon as the flame front, flame front is over, and you mop up all the spot fires around your house. And that policy is not exactly in place anymore. They, they've made a few changes. But one of the things that came out of that research was, um, whatever the material was, went home, and they found out that not everybody in the house was as prepared. And that stood out to me, and this is no comment, male versus female, but it's the dynamics of your household. At my house, my husband's the one who runs the chainsaw. I don't get near that thing, he runs the lawnmower. If there's any working parts, I'm not in there. Well, he works for Chief Moore, so if we have a subduction zone event, he's not gonna be at my house to help me. So I have to know, where the stuff is to evacuate. I have to make sure it's ready to go. I have to make sure that I have what it takes to get out because my husband's gonna be busy, you know, because 911's gonna be ringing off the hook. <laughs> so that's not a comment on male versus female, but just make sure everybody in your house, not just you, and kids included, you know, and even whatever the appropriate level is, engage your kids. Questions? How, how many feet of defensible space should you have? 30. 30. Most of us don't even wow, have space. Yard space. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. This is space. Oh, I know what I was going to say. I bought a lot. Part of our process in developing the evacuation plan is to make sure that we had a Okay, we have three entries. 